Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Hey everybody, welcome to The Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad. Joining me today, Morgan Parker with the QMG Foundation. How are you, Morgan? I'm doing well. How Good, are you? Good. Fantastic. And of course, uh, it is time to crush cancer, right? It is. And we were just talking, uh, this is the 10th year for QMG's Cancer Crush. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's right. And we were talking about kind of um, the early days, and it, you mentioned it was started by... Luke Tappy. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and it has been going strong every year, raising funds uh, to basically help those affected by cancer yep. uh, in in a multitude of ways, uh, all centering around support, right? Yep. Yep. So, wrap around care. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give me... Um, just some examples of things that you've done, um, yeah. you know, how much money you've raised, th those mm -hmm. kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So last year we raised $78,000 wow. at the event. Um, our goal this year is 100000 and we're seeing more patients and families in need. Um, unfortunately, everyone knows someone that's been diagnosed with cancer. I mean, you could be sitting next to someone at a restaurant, you could be shopping at a store next to somebody and have no idea that they have a cancer diagnosis. And so um, we're working really hard to be able to continue to raise funds to help families impacted by the diagnosis. And so what we can pay for are those basic living expenses. We can pay for rent and their mortgage, um, their utility bill, keep the lights on, their water bill. If they have um, need transportation to and from appointments, we can do that as well um, so that they can get the care that they need. And right. so we can do that in the short term. Um, a lot of times we're seeing, you know, your average working family, there's no other resources that they actually qualify for. Right. You have to be, you know, not having a paycheck or there's other stipulations in place. And so we're able to swoop in and help a lot of our local families that are, are working, but unfortunately have a cancer diagnosis. Right. That's phenomenal. I mean, of course, we all wish there wasn't a need right. um, for this kind of support, but it's awesome mm -hmm. that, that uh, your group can offer uh, such resources to people who are just going through, I can't, just can't even imagine, yeah. just terrible time. Yes. And then uh, finding people to, to rally mm -hmm. behind you and uh, just that community is amazing. Mm -hmm. So, um, but of course, you know, the support is not free. Um, it takes a lot of money to mm -hmm. be able to provide uh, those resources. So you hold the Cancer Crush mm -hmm. and um, it's more than just a fundraiser. It's fun. Yes. Right? It's like an indoor carnival. Yeah. <laughs> and it's very, very yes. cool if you've never yes. been. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of people have probably, hopefully been to at yeah. least one or a few. Um, there's always something fun going on. Mm -hmm. So you have, I'll let you. Yeah. What, so what can people expect yes. for would, this year's Cancer Crush? Yes. So we have, um, it's going to be like an open house style, actually, a little bit this year for the first couple hours. People can come in, mingle, grab a cocktail, um, play games, which we have a few returning games. Everyone's favorite, balloon darts. Oh, fun, you know, yeah. There's different, actually, levels this year. We have a high stakes and then just a regular balloon darts. What's, um, what is high stakes? So it has high level gift cards. All like, right. I'm talking like $50 to over 100, 200. Wow. Yeah. That's excellent. So yeah. it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, we have a new <laughs> game this year called Beat the Buzzer. So um, you'll be able to shoot some hoops on a really, really tall basketball hoop. Fun. <laughs> and try and make a basket. People are really struggling to make a basket. I wouldn't be able to make one on a regular hoop. But so yeah. um, we think that'll bring a lot of fun and excitement. Um, we just have a lot of, I mean, we have a new. Um, cake walk I guess if you will like a silent auction for different desserts okay and so we have full cakes pies cheesecakes that people have donated in the community Excellent. and so people can go and bid on a dessert for their table or take it home with them that night so just some fun unique things that we're doing this year um, so that's during our you know relaxation time I guess if you will of yeah like mingling and hanging out um, and then we will um, have our live auction which would be a lot of fun. Those are we have always some fun. great things up our sleeve with that. Um, and then we have our buzz off. So we have our buzzies taking the stage as well as our new category, Hair for a Cause. Okay. So um, there's a few people that are actually going to donate their hair to be made into a wig. Perfect. So um, the company that we chose, Hair We Share, makes these wigs once we send the hair off, and they actually will make the wigs and give them to any patient for free. So there's no charge. Incredible. Yeah. That is incredible. So yeah. when you're talking about buzz off, mm -hmm. uh, just for anyone who may not know, people actually buzz their hair. That's right? correct. Right now we have a handful of individuals fundraising for us, um, telling their story. They all have a testimonial of why they're doing it or right. who they're doing in honor and memory of. 
and um, they have that on social media, just sharing and raising money so they can take the stage and, you know, stand in solidarity. That's excellent. Yeah. That is so incredible. Yeah. Um, and how many of those do you normally have? We range from five to ten. Yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. I love yeah. that people are willing to do that. It yeah. just shows, it's shows again, the support in the it's community. Amazing. I love yes. it. I love it. So uh, if people want to get tickets, yep. uh, where do they go? Cancercrush.org. Okay. Um, people can follow us along on our Facebook page. We post every other day, if not more than that, sharing about what we're doing, what we have going on, how to get involved. Um, but cancercrush.org would probably be the best spot to purchase tickets. We also have, we cannot forget our raffle. Yes. This year's raffle is a $4,000 vacation. It's a travel voucher Holy through smokes. Quincy Travel House. That's excellent. So we're really grateful for Mecky over there. She's been wonderful. And so, I mean, you can turn $20 into a $4,000 vacation. And they can just do that online? Yes. Okay. Online. Go to cancercrush.org and they'll take you to our um, another platform website that we have. Perfect. Um, so, or you can get a bundle if you're really feeling like you want to go on vacation. You can do a bundle of five for 90. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, and of course, we want to mention the date and the, the place, the time, yes, right? Yes. I don't want to forget any of that. Friday. Talk about all the fun April stuff. April 5th. But, okay. <laughs> at the ambiance here in Quincy. Friday, April 5th. So mm -hmm. get your tickets. Go to cancercrush.org. Yep. Um, get the raffle tickets. because who Get raffle tickets now. Yeah, get raffle <laughs> tickets now because who doesn't need a vacation? Uh, and of course, just... Show your support. Yes. So even if you can't go, uh, you know, if you, if you want to donate money or mm -hmm. time or, yeah. uh, you know, anything like that, yeah. they can just You can actually hold. donate um, for the silent auction if you want to, when we open it up, we'll actually open up here pretty soon, a okay. week or two weeks out. We'll open our silent auction platform and anyone can bid, start bidding on those items. So we'll have 60 plus silent auction baskets Excellent. for the community to rally behind too. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. I love that you are doing it. So thank you for all the hard work you put into it. Uh, thank you to everyone, especially I noticed on your page, you have a ton of sponsors. Yes, we do. I won't ask you to go into all of them, <laughs> but uh, of course, none of this would happen without Correct. their hard work and, yep. and um, you know, generosity as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and sh shout out to all of them yep. uh, and to anyone who is interested in helping or attending uh, the the 10th annual, right? Mm -hmm. Cancer Crush. Mm -hmm. Go to cancercrush.org for more information or follow along their Facebook page. Yep, Morgan, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Good luck. I hope you have a fantastic year this year. Thank you. And good luck towards the goal, right? Yes, $100,000. $100, Let's go. I bet we can do it. <laughs> we can do it. Thanks, Morgan. Coming up next, I sit down with Meg Duncan for Twain Talk. Stay tuned. Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. Kelly's has been a fun place to eat and drink in Quincy since 1982. A fun and friendly atmosphere, food with flavor, homemade cinnamon rolls, and famous cheese soup, the best menu in town. Kelly's 2902 Broadway, Quincy. The Tower, a great place to meet and eat. But did you know the Tower has one of the finest drink selections in our area? Along with its incredible Mexican menu, the Tower specializes in tequilas for every taste. Names like Patron, Cabo Wabo, and Hornitos. And don't forget the margaritas. On Mondays and Tuesdays, stop by and pick up a single topping pizza and get Tower margaritas to go. Enjoy the Tower at home or in our dining room, bar area, or the Tower's signature climate-controlled porch. The Tower Pizza and Mexican in Quincy. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. And welcome back. Now it's time for Twain Talk. Oh, I, I didn't. I tried to jump in there with That's you. That's all right. I hey. was late. No, hey, <laughs> I, I'm just glad you're here. Thanks. Because Me too. <laughs> so I love when you're here because I get to learn all things Hannibal, and today is no exception. You always have something uh, exciting or dramatic or uh, interesting well, going good. on. Yeah. 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 And uh, today is, of course, no different, but this is something that is kind of like, 
uh, it's kind of how I think of buying tires for my car. It's something I don't ever want to spend money yeah, on. Yeah, absolutely. But you have to. Yeah, that's a good a good way to, uh, good comparison. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So what I want to bring to light today is Proposition S. That's going to be on that April 2nd ballot, and it's for Hannibal Stormwater. Yeah. So, I mean... I know stormwater doesn't sound like the most exciting topic, but I personally find it somewhat interesting um, because what they're trying to do is uh, fix a system that they haven't really been able to look into. And it's like over 100 years old. It's it's nearing, I think, 130 years old. Really? There's a few pictures. Um there's a few pictures online that they have held up of what the stormwater water system looks like, the what they have gotten to see. And it's just like, it just looks like these old archways. Like it's, it's just kind of crazy to think about how it's been all patched together for so many years and we're still trying to run a city on it. Right, so, right. You know? <laughs> yeah, it is interesting. So shame on me for saying it's it's kind of like tires because it's not. It's a, I mean, it's no, no. necessary. It is. But it's something that not no. everybody's going to be like, Oh, I can't wait to exactly. I can't wait to vote on that. That is not shame on you yeah. because but it's just like um it's just like anything can be interesting <laughs> yeah. sometimes. Right. So I've just found that. I there find you it, go. I find things um I find it interesting in that respect. Yeah. But but you're right in the respect that in order to fix the problem of kind of this cr- old crumbling system is a tax. Yeah. And that's where your tire comparison goes yes. so well. <laughs> yes, because you don't want to spend money, but you sometimes you just have to do it. Yes. And that is kind of what the, that's what the proposal is, right? Yeah. That we're going to impose this tax on, is it everybody in Hannibal? Yeah, Hannibal, okay. Hannibal residents. Um, and yes, it is a tax. Um, and it's because uh, there's literally no funding system for it. None. None. Zero. Um, and that is because there is a, I think it was called the Hancock Amendment, actually um, came into where they can't use any other um, funding for stormwater. Like property taxes or anything? No, yes. So, well, this will be on as a property tax, but okay. they can't use any other utility. Gotcha. So they can't go to the general fund at Hannibal Board of Public Works and say, we need this for stormwater. They can't do that. It's illegal. So, which is weird. That is weird. I know. Do you know why they did that? I don't. I need to look into the Hancock Amendment a little bit better. So, it's um, interesting because you would think it's a part of the water. You would think it would be a supply, utility. Right. But it, and I would just, I don't know if it falls under utility. That part I don't know. Um, but there is, very specific funds and stormwater does not have a dedicated fund so they have zero funding so do we know what the tax looks like yeah so what the tax they're going to use electric meters in order to gauge it so which seems a little inconsistent but they said that the best way to do that so they're putting it into um categories so you've got your residential and For anyone, while I explain this, if you're like, huh, there is an article online (laughs) that's going up that will explain um, the the charges and everything. Okay. So um, basically, you've got your residential and they um, put the rates based on different amounts of usage. Gotcha. So there's like a range or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And I I can't remember those exact numbers, but as I said, they're they're spelled out on that article. So you can always look. Um, and, And there is an informational meeting which so if I like if I'm using at my home like extra if I'm using water right let's say I take a bath Mm -hmm. and you know then I'm gauged I'm taxed on the amount of water usage that Mm -hmm. or wastewater I guess is what it is right well it would actually be your electricity oh so it's not actually related to water it's your electricity okay and um so they basically what they were trying to do so this is this is a this is what you would call a third attempt for stormwater they actually had a vote back in 2019 that failed um, by 12 votes and then they had another um where they went i believe at the time they were going off of um i can't remember but what they were doing was going to cost the taxpayers a lot of money gotcha um especially people who owned more land and so which which that I get that that is going to be how it yeah, is, but, sense, um, but 
So it got to the point, though, where it was such a um, big amount to certain people that um, it was actually pulled, like, by the Board of Public Works themselves. And they were like, this this isn't we fair the burden to on, certain yeah, people. Sure. So they put this committee together um, who um, basically represented all different kinds of people in the community and tried to find the most fair way. They thought that this flat rate was the most fair way. Um, basically, I know the starting point of that um, is $12 a month. So, and, and of course, that won't be monthly. That's just a monthly breakdown. And I think it was whatever 12 times 12 is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, We're not mathers, whatever. But, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. And um, so, so anyway, that will be an annual um, you know, that will be figured annually, okay. but that's where it starts and they're trying and, and then it goes with, it has residential and then it has a specific amount for commercial and a specific amount for industrial. Gotcha. So, um, I think that they're trying, um, to make it as fair for everyone as possible is I spoke with Larry Craig, who's the treasurer of that committee. Mm -hmm. Um, basically what they're wanting to do is just educate people that the problem is out there and, you know, let them know how it's going to be solved and so is so. there a master plan to fix them or is yeah. this tax going to happen first or what does that look like so basically they talked to a company who first um it was black and veach which is a um, accounting firm i believe that's what you would call it um and so they figured that the full amount needed would be um a starting at five million so um but they went ahead and cut that back and took some things out or whatever to three million, like three point two, I think is is what they're um, what they're figuring on. And um, so, what they plan to do is they first have to evaluate the system, which is going to require a very specific um, piece of equipment to okay. do that. So that's their first thing is evaluating the system and um, getting that equipment that they need in order to do that so they can just see what's what they have. And do they use like some kind of engineering firm or something to clear I, that? Oh. Uh, I don't want to say I'm not I can't remember the name that's okay you don't have to name so, the name but there is like a yeah. specific engineering yes, or I, consulting firm or somebody mm -hmm. coming in to yes to do absolutely that. Gotcha. yes and so they'll be doing that and then um after that they will be you know looking at different ways to repair it and they have a specific um plan in action that you can find um, on their website too, okay. Hannibal Board Public Works website, where it's really spelled out so much better than I can explain like the particular steps. The but I, step. yeah, yeah. But I do definitely know that very first step is to see what they've got to do that study, see what they've got, and then go from there. I think the big fear in, uh, not the big fear, but the big problem is that um, stormwater drains are not doing what they should and the the evidence of that is all over town in different spots where they've had to repair um two years ago a spot on union street actually um collapsed and a 16 year old girl fell into it and was injured she was okay thankfully but she was injured and um there's just a lot of you know things that are happening evidence that points to the necessity yeah. of fixing this. the necessity of fixing yeah. it and and there's also you know um just in the roadway because it's not draining fast enough when it um when it storms you know just water yeah that people you know are having to try to drive through things like that so it's a um it's one of those topics that's like oh storm water but it i can see I, I find it, so, like I said, I find it somewhat interesting, but, but to me it's because like there's so much history yeah. that they'll be uncovering in a way right. that I find that part of it interesting. That is very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I don't know how they plan to do that, but those, those questions will be answered um, Thursday at a public meeting that they're holding. Right. So, and you know, most likely this will be released on Thursday, but if you watch it before seven, you can still come out. Yeah. Right. And it's going to be um, at the, um, oh, I forgot the name. It is, <laughs> it's, the, can <laughs> it's the place where. <laughs> I don't have a clue. You're looking at the wrong girl there, but you'll have to find it. Hopefully it they is, can find it online. Yes. It's okay. the American Legion. Ah, uh, okay. It's there the American go. Legion on Highway MM and it just all of a sudden, 
Sometimes you have brain farts. <laughs> it just, I have them every day. Yeah, yeah. It just so left. I think it would be interesting to hear uh, I, just a couple of questions that I would have is, okay, before you have this expensive piece of machinery down there to see what you're looking at, how do you know how much it's going to cost, number mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. And number two, uh, the tax, you know, that's coming in, of course, it's necessary. But my question mm-hmm. would be, why wasn't this kind of planned? I mean, you know, you know that it's old. So probably mm-hmm. I know that you said there have been attempts, but probably mm-hmm. should have done some better. There was something um, in 2017 where it was uh, handed over to the Board of Public Works gotcha. as their situation yeah. from the city. Okay. Because And so I think there were issues there where the city was trying to maintain, and don't quote me on that, um, but, but I do know that that was given to the Hannibal Board of Public Works in 2017, so they've been kind of trying to figure out how, how to, to address it address since then. It yeah, that since makes sense because I was like, well, it's been in this it's been there forever. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Interesting. I, yeah, yeah, it is. It's and that's the it's, you know, like he said, nobody wants to be taxed. So the taxpayers will have to decide if, if it's something that they feel is important enough to And what happens if they don't? What happens if they vote against it? I think they've got to come up with another plan and see what else they can do. They just, they have to find that funding source. And so that's the issue is how will they get that funding source? And so I don't, and they can't do a sales tax. They can't do, there's so many. Yeah, that's what we talked about that before. Exactly. There's so many roadblocks that this, uh, this tax um, that will be on, it will be on your county taxes, but it will be figured up and delivered by the city of Hannibal. Um, I, I think that that's kind of, you know, there's other ways they had talked about, like, um, but it all comes down to a tax in the end. It's all so. going to cost. Yeah, some, it's going to cost money for everyone at some point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's definitely it's going to come back to the city at some point. Yeah. So and hopefully it all gets fixed before uh, anyone gets hurt. Right? Yeah. Or more and, damage happens. Yeah, that's, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So that's the thing. And okay. there'll be more on it. Like I said, there is an article out now. There's previous articles as well. It's something I've been following. And then. um uh, after Thursday, there should be more just kind of based on what the community um, asked. So there should be some good questions answered, I would say, at that yeah. meeting. So oh, I'll look so. forward to hearing, you know, what those are and yeah. those answers. Yes. So. And I will be looking forward to your reporting on that. Well, uh, as always, you do a phenomenal job. Oh, thank you. Uh, nice job again today. Always well, great talking to thanks you. Thanks. You too. All right. Well, good <laughs> luck. Good luck tonight. Uh, and good luck uh, the remainder of the week. I'm, yes. You have a very interesting week ahead. So. I know. Yes. All right. <laughs> well, I think that does it for today's Daily Muddy. We'll catch you back here tomorrow for Club Muddy. Muddy River News. Our home. Our news.